Clive Strucker filmed before a live studio audience. Yep, that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Alright, uh, trying to do some more of the uh, batting and vinyl wrapping tonight. It is um, Friday the 22nd. Yeah, tomorrow uh, it'll be four weeks that I've been home doing this. Yes, this project is going much slower than I thought it would. But I'm doing it right. Uh, everything is, is solidly built into the truck. If you watched my last video where I got that uh, rail up on the other side, uh, let's see if I can turn over so you can see that. Yeah, that was that was three days in the making, getting this post up. But we finally got up into place. It's all vinyl wrapped. It looks real good. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. So now we're just going to vinyl wrap this front beam here. Doesn't have to go all the way across because there will be a cabinet right there. And uh, good old John Holgren uh, <laughs> uh, had, had another suggestion. I, I had thought of these before, but um, I didn't think I, much of what I'd be doing would be exposed. But he said, you know, I might want to get some of these upholstery nails or upholstery tacks is what I always refer to them as. Because he said they, he's got like a, this 50-year-old chair that the upholstery tacks are holding the, the, the upholstery down. And for 50 years on the chair, it has been fine. So I agreed with him because uh, he, he sent me this little picture showing me, well, those staples up there don't look too good. Yeah. And I agreed. I was just kind of doing that temporarily uh, just to kind of hold things in place. Then I was going to figure out what I was doing. And it also kind of depended on how far the um, the batting and the wrap would come around that upper beam up there. Uh, it might even just cover those up. If it doesn't, then I went to Menards again tonight. You save everybody. You save everybody at Menards. <laughs> I'm a little tired of hearing that jingle if you hadn't noticed. So yeah, I got these right here. Nickel upholstery nails. They had like uh, three different colors. They had the bronze. Uh, they had a, a you know really dark um, kind of antiqueish look. And I thought, well, that doesn't really match for the modern interior of the truck. No. So I went with the uh, nickel upholstery nails. So you can see on the back, they're, they've got a, a, a nice fashioned head. And then a long little nail piece, you can see on that one right there, uh, that'll go deep enough in to hold the uh, vinyl down in place, and then these will look good. So, thanks again, John, and I know a lot of other people suggested something like this, so, again, thanks for all your suggestions. This is why this, this project is going so well, really, other than taking a long time, because of all of your suggestions, so please keep those coming. All right, got the vinyl uh, b b up there basically tacked down. I'm going to put in these uh, little tacky things that uh, John Holgren and others suggested. See, they kind of have a little texture to them. They look kind of nice. So we'll try those here in just a minute. But Minnesota Kid, while I was working on this, uh, sent a text in saying, your kid should um, super glue, uh, put super glue on your new toilet seat. And I was like, wow, that's a little harsh. But <laughs> you know, hopefully, I know he's kidding. Um, but then he uh, replied said, yeah, the progress looks good. And it made me think of a story. I actually did that once. I, I not on a toilet seat, but when I was in the third grade, uh, we had a substitute teacher that day, and she was just a real meal. <sighs> anyway, and so I was being my usual obnoxious self and bouncing all around the room like a gibbon. And she said, find your seat and glue yourself to it. I took her at her word. Put, took my super glue out and just spread it all over my desk seat, plopped on down there. At the end of the day, she, you know, the bell rings and everyone leaves the classroom. She said, well, it's time to go home. Aren't you ready to leave? I said, well, you told me to find my seat and glue myself to it. I and mean, I did. I'm stuck. <laughs> she was not amused. <laughs> yeah, they had to call the janitor. He had to come out with a putty knife to get me unstuck from my desk. Not to mention my mom was really hacked off that I killed a nice pair of pants. But I thought it was funny. I was willing to go that far for the joke. A little more insight into me. All right, just got all those uh, <clears throat> upholstery nails. And if we get up real close, you can kind of see the texture on them. See, they look real nice. All right. So... I think that frames that out nicely. I think it looks pretty damn good. I like those. Put one up there over the top. So, all right. So that kind of helps frame that out, make it look a little nicer. 
I just have it temporarily tacked underneath uh, because I'm going to stretch that around the panel board that's going to go up in the ceiling there. So for right now, I think here's where we are. Come on, camera focus. But I think those look pretty good. So there you go. Front vinyl panel is on. Only to here because there will be a cabinet from there to that wall. But it's starting to kind of take shape. What do you think? I'm thinking so. All right, this is something I did not get to last night, which is putting these brackets on. Uh, that I'm going to put right here. One way or the other. Maybe we'll go up that way. All right. Um, just to give it some extra support. Why not? And uh, so I pulled the vinyl up a little bit. And I'll refasten that back down after we get those in. Kind of a unique perspective. Here I am underneath my upper bunk. <laughs> so, like I said before, here's where the fridge is going to go. The freezer is going to go there. Where I'm sitting over the APU unit will basically be my seating area. And, of course, the steps will start from right there and go up towards the wall to the landing area, which will be up there. Just use those little uh, self-drilling screws. They're supposed to, you know, they're made for metal. And this bar is made of metal. And those went in great. So there you go. So we've got that bracket in place. Do the same thing on the other side, then we'll put the vinyl, vinyl back down. All right, got those brackets in on each side. If I can see the other side, I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Down to that beam. And pull the vinyl back around and put this little finishing screw back in there. Well, it's Friday night. I think that's where I'm going to stop. It's time to, uh, I cracked open a, a beer. Yeah, you can't usually have a beer in a big truck, but I'm parked in my house inside the pole barn. I'm having a beer, damn it. <laughs> it's one advantage to being home. I can have a beer. All right, so, yeah, we're going to stop there tonight. I'm going to, um, well, we got the pol we have upholstery up there and everything. So tomorrow I'm going to take, uh, after I think I'm going to start finishing with the carpet on the floor. And we'll get the uh, board in place and the carpet over that for the toilet area. And <clears throat> then, um, you know, like I, ha I have all weekend long and I'm going to have more help too um, over the weekend. So um, really inside now it's just a matter of building the platform back there that's going to be my seating area. A platform about three to four inches higher than that off to the passenger side that's going to hold the fridge and freezer. I want that up a little bit higher, so when you swing those doors open, it'll swing over the cushion that'll be the seating area. You see, I'm thinking ahead, not just a hat rack, my friend. And uh, then I'll start framing out the side for the closet and the sink that'll go next to the toilet, because if I start with the carpet area and get the toilet in place and it's screwed down tomorrow, then it'll be pretty much ready to go and rigid, and I can measure from there and make sure I'm doing all the right things. So pretty much most of the inside, uh, at least as far as the build part, uh, hopefully will get done this weekend. All right, a little more done tonight, at least, uh, you know, with the uh, vinyl up there on the beam behind me now, you can get a little more idea of how this whole thing is going to look, so got at least that done tonight, didn't we? Yeah, all right. More work over the weekend. Hopefully the weekend will get a lot done. That's going to be the plan, at least. And, well, at least that's always the plan. <laughs> Plans don't often happen as you want them to, right? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment if you'd like to. Uh, get to your comments usually within 24 hours. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, and as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. That's it, Thornton. I want a divorce. A divorce? Hey, good, we got something in common. Here, sign these. Oh no, mister. This one's gonna cost you. Oh yeah, Vanessa, look at these. I got these pictures right here. There's you, there's Ricardo, there's you and Ricardo, and what's with the midget over here? All right, there he is, high in the strip. Well, there was one leap. Come on. Come on, try again. Come on. Come on, Rusty. I know there's a lot of crap on the floor, but come on, give it a shot. <laughs> leap. <laughs> well, he's dancing. We'll give it for him. We'll give it to him. He danced nicely. So he got his strip. Happily eating his bounty. Right, Rusty? Rusty, give us a look. Give us a happy dog look. Come on. Come on. Rusty. <laughs> All 
about eating his strip. Come on, look up here. There you go.